Glasses have helped us humans see clearly for hundreds of years, but in recent times I feel glasses have become a fashion statement. There are more fashionable brands and celebrity endorsements than ever before. But is there a rule for finding the best fitting frames? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, then welcome. I talk about anything to do with the eyes on this channel, so if you want to learn a thing or two, then maybe consider subscribing. I'll make that worthwhile for you. As an optometrist, glasses are what help my patients see better. But at the same time, as somebody who likes seeing very aesthetically pleasing glasses, I feel like the perfect pair of glasses is something that finds a good balance between providing excellent vision as well as good looks. For this to happen, we must cover three things that glasses must do well, which is firstly, function well. They must provide clear vision for the patient, also enough protection in the case of safety glasses or sunglasses. Number two, they must fit well. They are not too wide or too narrow for the patient's face. And lastly, they must be fashionable. In other words, it complements the patient's look and outfit. However, every individual person is a mixed bag of genetic material, and so the ways that frames synergize with every face will always be different. So let's talk about a few guidelines that we can follow for finding the best fit. Face shapes can largely be divided into four distinct features. Square, round, triangular, and oval. Some other ones include rectangle and inverted triangle. As a rule of thumb, when selecting glasses, you want to de-emphasize your most dominant facial features. It's a very similar concept to fashion with clothing. You don't want to overly emphasize a certain look. You want a more well-rounded look. Although obviously there are exceptions to guidelines, it shares a very similar relationship with something like denim on denim fashion. If you can pull it off, then go for it. If not, then maybe try and avoid it. So let's talk about the four main facial features we mentioned earlier and talk about what we should aim to de-emphasize. Square faces. Square faces are characterized by a relatively short face with a prominent angular jawline. The goal is to de-emphasize the squareness of the jawline by decoupling the face with rounded frames, particularly on the bottom. Also, the perfect fit would come from using a shallow frame to lengthen the face. By doing this, you even out any strong features for a very well-rounded look. Alternatively, you could do the complete opposite and use a square frame to emphasize the squareness of the jawline to make yourself look more masculine. Triangular faces. Triangular faces are characterized by a relatively long face, a wide forehead with a pointy narrow chin. The goal is to de-emphasize the pointy chin by coupling the face with rounded frames. Also, it'll be best if you use a deep frame to shorten the face. You want to avoid glasses that are wider at the top as this will emphasize the triangular appearance. Round faces. Round faces are characterized by a relatively short face like the square face we saw earlier, but with a wide round jawline. The goal is to find frames that are angular to de-emphasize the roundness of the face and also a shallow frame to lengthen the face. Try to avoid rounded frames as this will overly emphasize the roundness of your overall appearance. But if you can pull it off and make it look cool like Mahatma Gandhi, then please be my guest. Oval faces. Oval faces are what I call the perfectly balanced face. Not too short, not too long, not too round, and not too angular. Oval faces tend to suit most frames, especially the ones that are rectangular and oval. So if you consider yourself to have an oval face, then maybe be a little bit more ambitious when selecting frames, as you will probably most likely suit most of them. I personally consider myself to have a square face. So if you look at my glasses collection, then you'll see a lot of rounded frames. I also have a wide face, which means that the eye size and the distance between the lenses must be wide enough for me to fit well into them. Speaking of which, every pair of glasses should have these parameters written on them. And I'm talking every pair of glasses, unless you got them from a dodgy website or something. These should be labeled with either a square or a series of numbers, always in the order of eye size, 
dBL and temple length in millimeters. Look for these numbers on your own set of glasses so that you know which frames you fit best into. And when choosing your next set of glasses, don't deviate too much from these numbers so that you can have a higher chance of finding a good fit. For me personally, I don't like to put nose pads on my glasses, mainly because my nose bridge is quite high, and if I had nose pads, it would protrude the frames out too much, making the fit uncomfortable, let alone increasing the vertex distance so my vision will also be altered as well. However, for people with low nose bridges, quite commonly seen in Asian faces, nose pads become essential in finding a perfect fit mainly because without nose pads their eyelashes or their cheekbones might touch the back surface of the lens which makes it impractical to wear glasses one thing that i like to do when traveling overseas is to visit optical boutiques and see which frames are trendy in which country or area in the world I find that in Europe, they have very elegant and compact designs, whereas in parts of East Asia, they have very big, round, cute looking glasses. Here in Australia, we have a lot of racial diversity, and so we tend to find a lot of different types of frames from all over the world. But the demand for glasses, I find, is not nearly as high as these East Asian countries, where the prevalence of myopia is about 80 to 90% in young adults. But regardless of where you live, as long as you follow the guidelines of de-emphasizing your most dominant facial features, I'm sure you'll find nice looking glasses anywhere you go. And remember, these are merely guidelines and so don't get too stressed out when selecting frames. And besides, you have frame stylists to help you selecting the right frame wherever you get your glasses. My suggestion here is to find frames that you absolutely love. It will incentivize you to wear it more frequently. Think of it as part of your outfit. And with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. If you learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.